Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Atullah with another new video. Uh, as we have started CSSF 2016 tutorial series and uh, this is uh, lesson 16 and uh, we have started design a slab with drop panel. So this is our part 4 and in our previous lecture I have just design uh, analysis that and have, we have seen that our wall drop panel and panel are failing with punching shared check okay so i'll just uh, modify that in that lecture so for that i'll just click here i'm i'll just click here okay and unlock and if you knew her new our channel then you can watch our previous video and also if you think that uh, this channel is helpful for you then subscribe to our channel and also stay with us so i will just simply come here and uh, click here select select then properties okay then from here column properties and i'll just select column with drop panel so press okay so you have uh, selected all column with drop panel and then we'll simply press delete and we'll delete wall drop panel now again we'll go define then we'll go here uh, column properties and from here column with drop panel will go for modify will go for modify and here i will just change that okay i will change that uh, first of all i will uh, change that at i will give it the i'll give here oh, okay 8 feet okay oh, 8 feet or 7 feet okay otherwise i'll give her 80 inch sorry 19 inch into 19 inch okay and it's drop panel then click here okay then click here okay and also we'll increase the drop panel size define slab properties so here drop panel and uh, modify drop panel i'll increase that drop panel thickness 8 inch okay then okay then click here okay now again we'll go for our drop panel drawing so simply come here so column with drop panel uh, it's done everything is done as our previous so i'll just simply from that point to that point i'll simply draw a drop panel so here we have our draw our draw, drop panel and our everything is okay you know that as per our previous lecture so i'll just simply go here design and analysis run analysis and check see just what happened now uh, if i come here it's uh, showing us the deflection okay here it's showing and here it's showing us the less deflection the very less deflection so i will again go here display show punching shear check and now actually our punching shear check uh, this value have reduced but it's not satisfied we have to um, take our value as I mean uh, less than one okay less than one so again I will uh, unlock it and I'll go over here and define okay I'll sorry uh, select otherwise we'll go for as sign sorry we'll go here select then select uh, again properties then uh, from here column properties and column uh, with drop panel okay, column with drop panel then click here okay Af now we'll go here assign okay so column and base data properties we'll click here properties and from here we'll go modify and from here i'll just modify that i'll give 10 feet on 120 120 okay i'll just give her that data okay in x direction 12 feet into 12 feet so press okay now and press okay just see here it's have uh, increased actually uh that's increasing because uh, i have uh, considered our uh, one column to another column distance is 24 feet actually this is so much you know, i mean this is very much 
distance is very much we have to consider uh, the suitable uh, maximum distance is almost 20 20 feet uh, 15 to 20 feet it's best okay so again I'll go here for design now see what happened so from here uh, we are seeing that now our punching uh, I mean our deflection are less and also we'll go for our punching shirt design now it's it's showing also uh, less value than previous right less value than previous now I will again close that okay and uh, for that I'll go here again select and before that I'll go here uh, slap properties okay slap properties drop panel and the drop panel thickness I'll consider as 10 feet okay a 10 inch then okay then okay now again I'll go for modify now see what happened and here I will just see just by clicking here also you can check that click here and wait for something please simply click here and uh, now see that it's uh, almost done almost it's it's almost done it's almost uh, near one now again we'll go for the modify modification okay I will unclick here I will un uh, tick here and again I'll go here uh, define the slope properties then drop panel modify drop panel and I'll give it one one on for 14 inch then press ok then ok now I'll go for again design actually oh uh, this is too much but uh, we are just going here we are just uh, going here now see here our uh, deflection have been very low okay this is the displacement now displacement are very low right and uh, I'll go here display the show deform shape for a lot combination lot combination to apply it's done and now it's 47 inch and from here the uh, close and from here punching shear now see that our uh, almost for a b slab our punching shear check is okay so actually uh, now it's I mean our wall uh, punching value are less than one so uh, we can tell that it's okay for now okay it's okay for now so we can go for design and actually uh, when you will design that just you have to go for uh, I mean several time we have to go for change uh, simply also we can change that value also okay we can change that value also because uh, we can decrease that value here mm, uh, the punching share is almost near 1 0.94 but here it is very low that's why we can decrease that uh, drop panel thickness okay and size also so it will be very economical actually uh, when you will go for practical work then you have to consider that now we'll go for detailing also okay so for detailing simply click here uh, and before that we'll go for design sorry our uh, display and then our uh, design show uh, slab design so from here show uh, slab design and uh, here we'll select finite element based method then simply apply now see here it's showing us where record how much reinforcement okay here uh, it's showing us the reinforcement requirement okay here it's showing us the requirement of reinforcement where how much required so apply so here it's showing the reinforcement where required how much reinforcement so in this way just we can design that and close again I'll just uh, unlock it and I'll just uh, see you that how will define our column strip so edit then add or edit at design strip then uh, uh, x this is a okay and actually uh, in when we provide drop panel 
then we have to go for final element method and this is best for it so I will just click here uh, it's okay uh, we have up sorry we have to run analysis and we'll go for detailing so here it's done and now we'll go click here run detailing okay and okay okay it's working so just see here this is our um, section and from here we can uh, see the detailing value okay we can see the value from here as per our uh, here we can see the data this is uh, the slap river okay so actually uh, in this way we can uh, design our uh, slab or we can design our drop panel as per requirement so I think uh, it's okay and you know next video I'll just uh, start uh, designing different types of foundations so we have uh, completed our drop panel a uh, flat slab with drop panel okay flat slab and flat plate uh, designing we have completed that so if you think that that is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon and also like our video share our video with your engineer friend so thank you thank you very much and in our next video i'll just start designing different types of foundation so still stay connected till next video